everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today is time for my February vlog style video. It's been a while since I've stood in front of you and just had some random chat about some random things. <laughs> um, it's always fun for me just to kind of, pardon the pun, but let my hair down and just have some a casual day with all of you. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of wigs off of my wig heads back here, ones that you have been super curious and ask me a lot about. We're going to talk about my new slogan and uh, some new merchandise uh, from Taz's Wig Closet today, and just a few upcoming things on my channel you won't want to miss. Stay tuned. So here we are. It's February 2021 already. I can't believe it. It just seems like last year has just flown by. And I think it's just because we weren't sure what was going to come next. It almost felt like a video game where you just don't know what's going to jump out at you. Um, but you can rest assured that something will. <laughs> um, I am so happy to put 2020 in the rear view mirror. My son's birthday, my youngest son was born on January 25th. And um, it was one year ago about this time when we went down to Columbus to his favorite restaurant to celebrate his birthday. It was me, my husband, Nick, and his girlfriend, Hannah. Um, and we re remember the conversation the whole way down, because it took us about an hour and a half to get down there, um, was all about this new mysterious virus uh, that was causing people to drop in the streets, you know, in, in Wuhan, China. It seemed just so sensational and so unbelievable um, and such an abstract thing that um, it just didn't seem like something like that could ever, ever happen. And then we sort of watched this story unfold all last year and obviously you know the rest of it. I just feel like sometimes we're in a twilight zone. You know, it just feels like a dream state to me. Um, so I think that for years to come, we're going to be dealing with the fallout of this. And I think the most healthy thing that we can do is take one day at a time, uh, take care of our health, both our mental health and our physical health, and um, reach out and, and, and nurture your social connections with, you know, being online. So in light of everything that's happened last year, you know, the the pandemic, the political environment, our, you know, our cultural changes, I think it's really taken a toll on us. So this year, I want us to have hope. You know, nobody has a crystal ball. We don't know how this is going to turn out, but I can tell you one thing, that whether you worry about it or not, it's still going to take place. So don't waste another day worrying and being in fear. You got to take the right precautions, but then let it go from your mind because there's nothing you can do to control it. Um, so I adopted the slogan, believe in the good uh, for 2021, because I really feel like we are what we focus on. And if we, if we brood, if we think negative thoughts constantly, our inner world is going to be reflected in our outer world. Just focus on the good things in your life. In fact, if you have to write down the good things and put it in a box somewhere, and when you start to get worried, when you start to feel negative and down, maybe take it out and read it. Just remind yourself of what the good things are in your life. If you focus on your blessing, blessings, if you focus on the good things, those blessings and good things will start to happen and manifest in your life. So I decided to make some merchandise uh, for Taz's wig closet that was uh, Believe in the Good, my slogan for 2021. And what do you know, they have masks now. Um, and they didn't have these before. So that's just something brand new. They have a variety of t-shirts and things. So I decided to have this logo put on a variety of things. A little makeup bag, the masks, there's both that kind of a mask and a gator style mask, um, several different t-shirts, and a couple of other fun things. So, so the first thing that I want to touch on today are, are the wig selling scams out there. Um, they just show no sign of slowing down and you cannot stop them. I don't have enough money enough lawyers, enough patients. I don't have enough anything to fight this. Um, it's international. 
they jump around quite a bit. They create new URLs all the time. It's like chasing your tail. The best thing we can do is to spread the word. We hate seeing our wing sisters get scammed by these people. So the first red flag is price. Using that Alva, for example, I think that wig retails right around $150, $160. If you see it for $25, $30, it's a scam. You cannot buy a brand new Noriko Alva for $25 to $30. The manufacturers set the minimum pricing on these new wigs. So if you're looking at a wig for $20 or $30 that would normally cost $100, $200, $300, it's a scam. Please stay away. Um, typically what you get when you order from that co those companies is something that is not wearable. It's impossible to return and you can never contact customer service. They just simply won't answer you. The wig hasn't shipped yet or if you just made your order and you discover that you've made a mistake, contact PayPal or your credit card company or something and have them put a stop on that charge so it doesn't go through. Um, otherwise, you may just have to chalk it up to once bitten, twice shy. So if it happens to you once, you might be super careful the next time. I don't want to see this happen to anyone, honestly. It's just, it breaks my heart. But you really do have to take responsibility for your buying decisions online. It's a minefield out there. And if you are a wise consumer, you'll check it out before you buy from them. So just remember that I only endorse Wig Studio One. And so please help spread the word on these scams. Like I said, I can't stop them. And they show no sign of slowing down. The only time they're going to slow down and go away is if we stop buying from them. So I do want to touch again on lighting. So many of you ask me if I'm using a filter because one day, you know, the lighting might be a little dim, more dim than other days. Um, it looks like it's, there's a cool cast to the room and that's just the setting that the camera is on. I think it's picking up a lot on the gray walls. So I have a gray walls, I have a dark brown wood floor, and then I have gray a gray, grayish blue um, curtains. So all of that's gonna be reflected into the room and probably have an effect on how you see the color. Color and lighting is the biggest challenge that we have as wig reviewers. I've said this so many times. You know, it all depends on my camera, it depends on lighting, it depends on what it's doing outside. Do I have a lot of natural light in the room that day or it, you know, most of the time in the winter time in Ohio, I get very little natural light. Um, I wish I had a studio. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I would love to have a dedicated studio where all I had to do was walk in and flip a switch and I got my lights and my camera and I'm just ready. I can just walk in and start filming. Unfortunately, it takes me an hour to an hour and a half to set up and tear down my set every single time. So you're gonna see some variability. You know, we all see color differently too, don't we? So it depends on what device you're viewing it from. I did a, a video recently where I was looking at the same exact uh, video and frame on both an iPad and uh, my laptop. It looked completely, like the color was completely different. It depends on the pixels and how it's calibrated. Um, in your device, uh, what are you watching it from? A computer, a cell phone, an iPad, you know, however, you know, whatever device you're watching it from, you're going to pick up on what the settings are for the color in your uh, viewing. So I suggest that if you're looking for a particular color, that you watch several different reviews on that color, because we're all going to have a little bit of a different lighting setup. And then, um, you know, look at the swatch, do some comparisons, read the description, reach out to the manufacturer or retailer uh, for a better description if you need it. But that's what I suggest uh, just to make sure that you're getting the best information possible about colors. Betty knows what a huge fan I am of the square bands, the hinged head hair band. Um, I have done videos on these before, but this is a brand new design that I actually purchased quite a bit of, and I have them available for sale on my website, along with, I think, six other designs. I'll put the links below, but it's tazswigcloset.com, www.tazswigcloset.com. But anyway, this is the new design. It's called the Khaki Leopard. I believe it's my new favorite. 
Um, the other leopard, the classic leopard, is more yellow and brown, whereas this is more of a cream and khaki design. I think it's great. I think it goes with just about anything. Isn't that cute? Khaki Leopard. I think it seems to be a little more neutral to me in its colors. Going with everything. So if you're interested, you can go out to Taz's Wig Closet dot com um, or you can visit the official Square Bands website at www.squarebands.com. So let's talk about the girls behind me here. It wasn't long ago when I started to put letters um, on the wig heads. These are just vinyl letters that you would put on a mailbox or a boat or something. Um, but I decided to do that so that it would be easier to identify the wig that you want more information on. It's difficult for me in every single video to go through and look at each one and list and put links. I would rather if you just ask me about it. So if you're curious about the letter P, just say, hey, Taz, what's letter P? And I'll be able to provide you that information. So actually, this is one that I get asked about most frequently. I'm gonna run and put it on. Okay, so I'll give you a second to think about it. It's a Gabor style. And it's, you got it, this is Sweet Talk. And the color on this one is Buttered Toast, which is GL1526SS, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it has a lace front, left mono part, has lots of volume, lots of curl and volume. Okay, now the uh, this next one that I get asked a lot about, right here, letter F. I have not reviewed this one yet. Um, I took it out of the box and set it on the mannequin head maybe four weeks ago, and it's been very popular. So I think I'm gonna slip it on. Mid-length, straight style, with bangs. But they seem pretty wispy. I could trim them up a little bit so that they come up just above the the eyebrow or just right at the eyebrow. This is John Renault's Amelia in the color Palm Springs Blonde. Makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> um, Amelia has a lace front and a full mono top though. So I'm not getting a big poofy amount of permatease or anything. In fact, this reminds me a lot of the uh, the one I just reviewed recently, which was the Noriko Alva. Noriko Alva may be just a tad shorter than this, but it has a similar bang. And the price point's a lot different because this has a lace front and a full mono. But because Alva is on back order for such a long time, this one, if you can afford it and you enjoy these kind of cap features, might be a good substitute. So this one I get tons of questions on. It looks so pretty back there on that mannequin head. This is Henry Margus Harper in 10613 GR. I featured it in my color of the year video recently. And I have now four pieces in that new color, which I absolutely adore the color. And this style is just, just spectacular. So fun to wear. Beautiful lace front. So what I'm wearing here is the Renee of Paris's Sonoma in the color Rose Gold R. And this style, unfortunately, has been discontinued by the manufacturer. So hopefully they'll come out with something that's um, very close to this soon. My channel has grown to the point where I'm getting so many comments, uh, so many direct messages on Instagram, so many messages on Facebook. I get lots of emails and I feel very badly that I cannot 
get back to you all. There's just too many and not enough time. I would really like to connect with you on a more personal level, level for more customized help that you may need in your wig journey. And so I'm really tossing around um, an option of doing some personal consultations just based on donations only. I mean, I don't make a big profit here on Taz's Wig Closet, but if I'm gonna take the time, if I'm gonna dedicate and carve out time and give some valuable feedback, I think I need to uh, at least open it up to donations. So I'm tossing that around right now, and if I do end up rolling out something along those lines, I'll be sure to let everybody know. Until then, I apologize if I can't get to your questions. So thanks again for spending a few minutes with me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful year, and don't forget to believe in the good. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.